Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to highlight, kind of a collector's corner highlight, a casino chip, the Flamingo Hilton $1 chip. Now, originally Flamingo obviously started with Bugsy Siegel, pushed that, and then for a brief period here, it was the Flamingo Hilton. I don't know if Hilton still has a stake in the Flamingo, but my understanding now is it's under Caesar's ownership. You, We can discuss that in the comments below, if need be. Needless to say, lovely casino chip. I might try to put together some more Hilton Flamingo chips in the future, but maybe not right now. So we're gonna discuss this chip, and before we do, there are a couple of things we need to do. Number one, I get questions, it seems like every few videos about this playing mat. This is a table topper from, sent to me by PokerChipForum.com. I did not pay for this table topper. They're a longtime supporter. I always encourage people to go over to PokerChipForum.com. I was there before they sent me a table topper ever, helped out with, on Patreon or any of my other videos. So this is a great place to find information about collectibles or just stock chips that you are interested in for your home games. I also am on there. You can say hi to me. My screen name is Hobby Philic. You can write me a message or just tag me in any of your, in any of your posts. And I try to respond to those. So now let's dive into, that's by the way, like one of the few social media sites I'm on. I have a Twitter account and Facebook account. I'm just never on those platforms. All right. The other thing we have to do before we discuss this chip is we need to play a hand. What is this? Uh, Regal, the Regal 100% plastic cards here. And this is this represents our very realistic pot. That in the big blind, the small blind, all right there. That's what we, that's the, everybody raised. That's what it looks like. So if you're at home, and you'd like to play along, grab your deck, shuffle up. We're obviously not playing for anything. We're actually gonna skip the betting cycles. So, you know, this is just for fun. Let's see how the chip does. Everybody out there is like, the Flamingo, we should be playing Blackjack. All right, well, I'll give you half credit for that statement. That's a pretty, <laughs> pretty well thought out statement there. What else do you do with the Flamingo? Flamingo, I mean, you go to the Flamingo and you play, you play Blackjack. All right, craps maybe. All right, Jane Doe. This represents Jane Doe. She is a poker shark, watch out. I'm just a fish here and I can't fold because there's this YouTube video thing going on. We're gonna burn a card and we are going to flop. What is in store for us here? What's the saying? Read them and weep, trips. Such a bad hand. All right, what does Jane Doe have? She only has a queen. Oh, so sad. You ought to run, you see, now I can talk smart. You ought to run, running good is better than being good, Jane. So there. All right, let's zoom in a little bit and we'll, well, before we do, let's show you what's going on here. What's your guess on this? Uh, it's a casino chip. Uh, my guess is 10 grams. Paulson made Hilton 11.2. All right, I was off. I was wrong. I was off a gram, so it's 11.3 grams. So the question of how much do casino chips weigh? This is one example. I can tell you there's quite a variety of weights when it comes to casino chips. Let's pull out the old digital calipers. I read millimeters. Yep, that looks good. All right, don't do this. Don't try this at home, folks. You might damage your chips. 39 millimeters. What are you guessing? 3.3 millimeters thick, 3.25. For all intents and purposes, you could say 3.3. All right, 39 millimeter, 3.3 millimeter thick chip. Looks good. All right, let me zoom in here a little bit and we'll discuss some of the aspects of this chip. So the first thing that you'll notice is the edge spot up here. We have white, it looks like orange, yellow, house mold. Now, some people really like house molds. I'm one of those people. Some people don't, and it you know it's fine. It depends on the chip for some people. But I really like this oval kind of pill-shaped stamp right here with the dollar denomination on that. That's great. For me, that just adds something interesting, a fun texture to it. I really like that. So house mold with one triple edge spot, and then we have this rainbow, lovely rainbow down the inlay, true inlay Paulson chip, obviously. $1 Flamingo Hilton, and very, very fine print, it says Las Vegas, Nevada. Flip it over, this one I think flips, yeah, like this. We get the same thing on the other side, just with that edge spot. 
I really like that single edge spot. To me, it adds a lot of character and interest, and it totally changes the dynamic of the chip when you flip it over. So really interesting Flamingo chip. It also complements that rainbow very well on the chip itself. I think that's what they were going for. So you can see, you know, not perfect. You can see there's a little, some contamination here on those edge spots. Such a lovely, such a lovely chip. I'm going to leave that there for you to enjoy. And I'm going to thank my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. You can join us on Patreon. I post a few behind the scenes pictures and updates every month, and it's just general support. You can also visit my Amazon shop. Speaking of my Amazon shop, I have these plastic cases on my Amazon shop to help protect some of your chips. They, it depends on the chip. Most of these hold the chips pretty well if you close them tight. So this one doesn't rattle, but you heard it before when I didn't seal it all the way. It did rattle a little bit. Some really worn out chips do rattle a little bit. Anyway, you can find these on my Amazon shop. Like I said, I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe.